Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to walk you through Balanced. However, I'm going to use the mobile app My Icon Wallet and walk through the entire process. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, I haven't seen a mobile screen this big. You're right. I am using the mobile, however, in DEX mode, which is a PC mode. So every single interaction I do will be exactly the same as you would do it on the mobile phone. So let's jump in. As you can see at the moment, I'm on this wallet. The great thing about my icon wallet is you just can click on the browser section and it has the majority of the dApps that are already on the icon ecosystem. Number one, balanced. So click on that, loads it up, looks exactly like the normal website. Sign in. It does have when you click sign in, IconX and Ledger. IconX, when you click on that, it'll log in to your wallet. Notice it didn't ask anything, it just connected straight through because you're using the actual wallet to do it. So I've got a tiny bit of ICX in here. So today I'm just going to walk through the process of taking out a loan with this. So first things, deposit, confirm now. You slide what you need now. Remember, if you slide, at the moment I have 174 ICX, if I slide that all through, it will probably not go through because I don't have any ICX to pay for fees. So just for the sake of, I'm going to leave like eight here and uh, let's put a nice round number. Yes, uh, wrong keyboard. Here we go. And I'll leave some ICX 160. Click confirm. First thing it wants to do. Now I want to talk through this process to give everyone clarity. So you know when you, you deposit your ICX as collateral, it it stakes it in the background. Now I see a lot of people going, oh, but where's that SICX? While it converts it to SICX, you don't actually see that because it's still being used as collateral, but it displays it a little bit differently. So let me click on deposit and it's got everything and I'll just confirm. And there we go. So I have deposited, obviously you can see it's deposited just a smidge under that round number. Now what's different here is this is still being displayed as ICX. I want to talk or explain this. You, It will always say ICX, but after 48 hours, when you look at your collateral position, remember I put in 160, this is what it starts with. After 48 hours, automatically in the background, when the staking rewards are claimed, the way our SICX works, remember, that total doesn't change for SICX. It, it kind of claims rewards and just grows in value in the background. But for your collateral aspect, you will actually see this ICX figure go up after 48 hours. Why 48, hour, 48 hours? It takes 48 hours before you get the first rewards. After that, you'll every day you'll automatically see this go up. Now, for, 150, for 160 ICX, it'll barely be anything. But say if I had 10,000 ICX here, I'd probably be seeing it go up every day by three ICX. So I hope that helps clarify. This is the number one question I see all the time. I also, it took me, once the protocol launched, I understood that this is where it's different when you add it for collateral. Okay, so that's collateral. Now I've added it, let's borrow some money. I just want to borrow $55, okay? So what am I looking at here? I can keep borrowing. Why wouldn't I borrow? Straight away, as you can see, it, it caps me. I don't earn the balance token. What's the point of that? The whole point I'm borrowing is I want to earn the balance token. Why aren't I going all the way up here? Well, it's kind of risky in case the price fell below $2.43. I wouldn't earn the balance reward and I'd have to come in here and pay off my debt to, to start earning. So it doesn't make sense for me to keep it this close because I don't want to keep monitoring it every second. Uh, and when I click question mark, what does this mean? I always call this out. I will call it out in this video. Liquidation, really important. Right now, based on this loan and what I put as collateral, if I'd put far more and took out such a loan, the liquidation price would be far lower. But based on these figures, at 73 cents, I would lose my 160 ICX. It would be sold to pay off the debt for the loan I've taken out. So I don't want to be in that position. I don't ever want to be in that position. So I'm going to be safe here. For the purpose of this video, I'm just taking, uh, let's say, 55. There we go. And you can see over here straight away 51 cents so that i feel quite safe with that and a dollar 72 so i know i have a nice buffer where i'll keep earning and i don't have to keep paying attention to my loan hit confirm click borrow 
okay on this you can see it's a one percent fee so i'm paying that 55 percent um 55 cents up front and after that there's no fees on the loan as long as you like you can have the loan open i see that asked all the time as well so hopefully that gives clarity you just have to pay back the debt when you're done let's click borrow you, you probably noticed with the mobile version, it's not asking me for a password over and over. It just asks you for the password when you first log into the app, and then you can just keep using it. In fact, I found it to be a smoother experience, but they're risk associating associated with carrying your stuff on your phone, and you need to be careful. As you can see, this is just a showcase wallet I've created for this tutorial. And there you have it. I have taken a loan. It's got all my details there. You can see, uh, this is a good section to talk through. You can see that in my wallet, I still have that ICX that I have left over. I have some BNUSD, this is the loan I've taken, and this is details of my loan. Now, let's click on this SICX. You can see I could use this interface to send it to another wallet. And over here, I could unstake uh, I could check the unstaking period, which I'm actually going to show you now. This is another question that gets tackled. So uh, it, on the mobile screen, I have noticed sometimes a few numbers over here glitch. I think because I've got this in that computer mode, it's not showing that, but everything works the same way. So let's head on over to uh, the trade aspect. Now, everything else works exactly the same way. I'm trying to cover off stuff I've left in previous tutorials off the list, and this is a very important one. So you saw me touch on IC ICX, okay? So you've taken out a loan. You've, you've got this this to pay back you can use the BNUSD to buy some more SICX or say you hadn't used all your ICX say I had a solid buffer over here so uh, in terms of over here I want to convert this 5.5 ICX into state ICX but I don't want to put it up as collateral I want to do other stuff with that state ICX so what you do is you head over to the trade window and you can now trade and this this is very important you can even though it's in the trade in the decks you can trade it for SICX now what is very important to remember is when you're trading from ICX to state ICX you're not it's not a trade you're not paying any fees all the decks is doing is taking your ICX staking it right away and giving you the representation of state ICX the value of state ICX back so if you were to unstake that staked ICX, which is SICX, you'd get back exactly the amount of ICX you swapped it with. So let me, let's, let's do this. Five, oh, not eight, five. Now, what are we seeing here? Oh, but it's not giving me the exact value. I'm not getting five staked ICX. You never will. As every day goes by in that ICX conversion, when you go to stake your I swap your ICX to staked ICX, will get lower and lower. But when you go to unstake it via the traditional unstaking period, seven days that you have to wait, you will get back your five ICX. And if you wait, for example, a year and it's been 10% interest, you would get back your 5 ACX plus the interest you would have earned on over that year. That's why this, this value changes all the time. So let's swap. I'm going to click swap. I've got 4.98 and I'll show you how you can check this. Uh, I've done some testing. Hopefully it doesn't fail in this video. Okay, so right away, um, before I move and show you how to check that, the next thing I want to show, the next option you'll straight away think, oh, but I can swap my SICX back to ICX. I know I have the 4.98. Right away you can see, oh, but I just told you you'd get the same back. Now this is where it's different. While you can use the DEX to swap from ICX to state ICX for free, if you use the DEX to swap from SICX back to ICX, you pay a 1% fee, okay? That is so that, why do you pay that fee? So that you don't wait the seven days you would normally have to wait to unstake it. So if you had a large quantity and you'd been sitting here in the platform for a year and a half, you, you may want to, you know, 
pay that 1% fee and instantly run off with your ICX. That's up to you. But the other way of uh, changing it back from staked ICX is let's head on over to the home tab. And Okay, so let's come back here and you can see that I have my staked ICX. And if I do not want to pay the fee and wait the seven days or how many ever days it's going to take at the moment to unstake your ICX, you can come here, click on it. It'll give you a few options. Click on unstake. And as you can see, boom, five ICX. And if I click on I, um, unstake over here, in fact, let me do that. Confirm it, it'll do it. And you notice that I had 10 ICX here and click on it. You can see that it's unstaking it. And when it's done, it will arrive in my wallet. Okay, so hopefully that has helped understand how you do things on the protocol. Now, the next thing I'm going to take you through in a future video is I'm going to close out this loan. So we're going to pay it back and unlock the collateral and um, see what happens there. As usual, thanks for watching. If you like my content, subscribe, share this around. Hopefully this tutorial has helped. Uh, remember again, while you've seen it on a big screen, it, it works the same way on the mobile. In fact, the first thing you would have noticed is you have to type your password out. Well, you don't. That, that That's the beauty of using the MyIcon wallet. Um, there are risks associated with having your information on your mobile, the wallets on your mobile. Make sure you're aware of that. Thanks everyone for watching.